last time. I built a cyclops. See, I have a cyclops. Cyclops is open. Cyclops I open. It's a 40 foot sub. It's huge. I think it's bigger than my base. And I probably shouldn't have built it in the shallows. But I don't feel like moving my entire base. Again. Maybe I should build a bed on my, on my Cyclops. How much will a bed cost? Just for the hell of it. Titanium and fiber mesh. I can I can put it here. Hm. Or in the engine room. Yeah, let's put it in the engine room. Uh, okay, interior lights off. Wait, before we go, can you can you turn that off? Turn it off. Okay. If I'm not mistaken. Also stored some stuff on the Cyclops, so I won't have to carry it all the time. And I've got nothing special except the, facil the item facility. I wanted to check this out. It is technically southwest of the item control facility, but it's not 800 meters down. That's the biggest thing I have so far. I also, yeah, I also built up some thermal vents. Here and here, so thermal plants, so I can have power in my base. And now I have a new radio message. I didn't have another one to check out. 13 I got, 17, 19. The gassy habitat. I also cleared out the mushroom cave. The jelly shroom cave. Oh, found it, cleared it. Oh yeah, the lost river. Lost river should be cool. I should go check it out here. Okay, so let's head to the alien vent. And then into the Lost River. Okay. Pilot sub. Engine online. I had standard. Steer clear of the gasopod. Proximity alert. Fish alert. Can just open the, the map. Okay, generally west southwest. Okay, which is where I'm going. Through the kelp forest. Stop slamming into my sub. It's okay, there's nothing. Damaging here. Let's look at my cameras. The keel. The conning tower. The screw. The keel is the most interesting. Eating everyone, slamming into my into my hull. You get some over there. Let's not get too close to those floating things.
Okay, uh, where, am I, where am I going? I went too far. Um, okay, just head west. Generally west. Keep going west. Wait, that's... that's the mushroom cave? That's not the mushroom cave. That's something else, that's probably the lost river. Apparently my dog likes to eat, use tissues. He's a disgusting slob. And that's the vent. And I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. But let's find out. Turn off and turn the lights. Okay, it doesn't affect me. But there's gotta be something to be done here. Gotta be something. Alien vent. That's it. Okay. Let's take a look. What do we have? Alien data. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. The inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled into the atmosphere. Most creatures are avoiding the vents. People can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress. Further research required. This one goes into the isolation chambers, right? Okay, so the river now, I guess. Go, let's go to the river. Engine on. This is the entrance to the hidden river, right? The lost river.
Yep, that's the last level. We should probably go a bit to the west. Follow this to the west. Till we find the proper entrance. Warpels. This is where it gets scary. I'm at the hidden way, the last level. Not interested. Not interested. Let's go back. Okay. Show me outside floodlights. Hmm. Turn this off. Turn the engine off. If it's not vertical biome matches seven of the nav preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. Thank you. Should I take the proportion gun? No, I'll stick with the stasis rifle. Okay. Turn the lights off. And let's take a prawn. Come here. Ah, uh, damn wobbles. Okay, into the hidden uh, the last level. I don't want gold, I want nickel. Down to six hundred. Did I miss the entrance? No, that's the entrance. Thanks.
Are well, these things new? Spine fish. Ooh, creepy. Okay, what are those? Pyro coral. Brine lily. Okay. What do we know about that? Coral species unlike any other encountered relies on magma flow to deliver nutrients. Coral forms around the base of a vent. Lava is funneled up to the coral, allowing it to siphon minerals. Spine fish. If danger, danger, threat level low. Small school mentality prey fish. Combination of near translucent flesh with white rib like markings gave this fish a deathly appearance. It takes advantage of this to avoid the attention of its predators. Moves in schools, will disperse and flee if necessary. Uh, they had a month to try this. Edible, low calorie count. Brine lily. Take advantage of the relative density of the acidic brine pools. Float safely on the surface. Tender like roots, drawing essential salts and minerals. Okay. Those are things that exist here. Gel sacks. Don't let those assholes get close. Okay, I'm sitting in brine. Let's go, follow the river. Just want a nickel repository. I've been told I can find one here. Great, another radio. Give me a minute. What is that? Terrain scans indicate the spiron contains unusually high concentrations of organic. And fossilized remains. Amoeboid. What are you? River prowler. Crab claw kelp. Yeah, I'll try not to swim into the acid myself. Ghost weed. Is there something I can grab? Let's store this. And 
use one of those. And how about we repair a prawn? River Powler, third level high, first agile predator discovered at great depths, powerful jaws used for both savaging prey and warding off large predators, eel-like torso, highly vulnerable, consisting predominantly of spinal column and cartilage, shows significant overlap with other eel-like predators. It will aggressively keep its jaws facing its opponents, but smaller, faster life form may have the advantage. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, 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 wait! I want a sample! Ghost Leviathan! Ah! Okay. Give me a scan, give me a scan! Okay, that's a juvenile. And it just took a bite out of me. Also a new coral. Just table coral, okay. So yeah, that guy needs to be avoided. Ghost Leviathan also needs to be avoided. Ghost Leviathan Juvenile, third level high. Adapted to live in deep waters and it's coming right for me again. High systems attacking anything and everything. Soft outer membrane enables superior navigation. Displays some similarities to other eel like predators. Ghost Leviathan has covered over the electrical prongs with a taut transparent membrane which delivers superior maneuverability. In its juvenile state, this Leviathan feeds on larger herbivores and unfortunate members of its own species. They display a remarkable rate of growth, which shows no sign of stopping, suggesting that they must abandon their hatching grounds before they grow too large and make for more open waters. Amoeboid. Simple non-sentient. Attached to land, high level of fossilized organic matter. Feeds on this matter until maturity, at which point it divides. Hi. Cra crab claw kelp. Blue tipped kelp. Which tends to grow in or near to acidic brine pools. Hazardous to most life form, the crab claw adapted a thick, inflexible root system which can withstand the environment. Ghostweed glows exclusively in deep waters where its pale pigmentation is visible on a few wavelengths. Interesting system.
Oh, whoa. Let's stay away from the... Holy shit. What the hell is that? I gotta take a look at that. Don't eat me. I will blade you. Holy crap, what the hell was that? Can't go into the eyes. Nasty. Skeletal remains. Gargantuan fossil. Yeah, definitely Gargantuan. You want to go again? Deceased. Fossil remains of an extinct superior pred super predator. Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. Approximately 3 million years old, ribcage measurements suggest the creature was eel like in structure. Conclusions suggest this is only the front third of the specimen. The remains now support a vibrant microcosm of life. There are a series of precise angular indentations on the rib cage, suggesting a third party has taken samples from the specimen at a previous time. Oh, more kelp. There's more over there. Of course there's more over there. I'm swimming in the brain pool. Thank you for following! That looks like cave sulfur. I'm gonna get oh yeah, that's not good, that's not good. Definitely not good. Oh, damn, it's still hurting. Okay, I'm out of medkits. And nothing to stand on. <gasps> Nickel! Yes, finally. I should probably get a grapp grappling arm. Well, regular arm. Put in storage. Now okay, I can do all the nickel stuff. Excellent. More floating rays? 
the hell? That's still a ribcage. More nickel? Yay! Okay, that's enough for now. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, I need to scan those trees. <gasps> Damn! Okay. What is that? That is a thing, right? It is not a thing. That's alien. That is still not a thing. That's a thing. Ancient fossil line is a skeleton. Skeleton of a million year old armored carnivore. Projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on this planet. The essence of the time would have been very different to support life forms of this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. What do we have here? Those just alien lamps. That's an exit. What do you mean that's an exit? Let me recharge for a bit. Come on, come on. That's an exit. I'm not done. Gotta keep going. I'll go back for the cave sulfur later. I don't like it when random things make noises. have a tablet with me.
Maybe I do need an exit for a bit. A yellow one? Is there such thing as a yellow one? There isn't a yellow one. There's an orange one. And it can't be found here. Well, at least I know what I got. Flying things new? Ghost ray. Everything down here is ghostly. Okay, what is a ghost ray? Ghost Ray. At level low. Ray species adapted to deep sea conditions, fully protected by translucent skin, large wings capable of generating considerable thrust. It's common for race on this planet. The ghost ray's flesh is inedible, making one of the more resilient herbivores. Feeds on plant matter that has settled on the ground in deep sea caverns. Inedible. More rubies. And back in the brine. Why is cave sulfur only on the bottom of the brine pools? And they say it's another exit. Titanium. Damn, I got far.
<sighs> okay, back to the river. Where are the warpers in the river? Game is amazing. The world building is incredible. And don't have to go back soon. Because I'm out of room. That's a rib cage. What I'm seeing is cave sulfur, right? Cave sulfur. No, it's not cave sulfur, it's uh it's that other kind. Crystalline sulfur, yeah. Reducing agent. Necessary for the fire suppression system and the pawn jump upgrade. I'll go back for it later. It's not really the lost river, it's the lost pools, or hidden pools. Come here, come get me. You want me? Let's, let's have it out. Killing a baby Leviathan. Okay, I get it, you're a toughie, but time to die. When are you gonna die? Fine. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Ah. 
Ah, rocks. How tough are you? I wish there was some indication that they were dead. Okay, I'm gonna go keep exploring, if you don't mind. That's sandstone. Welcome aboard, Captain. Actually, I'm not sure how much silver I have. Okay. Gonna hurt you. Stop trying to eat me. Okay, it's hitting me. Let's repair. Nah, let me repair. Oh, we're playing this game again. Whoa. What the hell am I? Gold is not interesting. Crystalline sulfur is interesting. can scan it because I will die. That's interesting. What's this? Hmm. 
not too shallow for the pawn. And what the grid. And someone is smoking outside. Excellent. What are those? Not a thing. Nickel. Crystal sulfur. You do not want to eat me. Hello, hello. Yeah, saving is a good idea. Go away. Alien structures. Alien light fixtures. Titanium. That's a big biome. <gasps> Damn. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Oh really? Yeah, it looks a bit damaged. I'm reaching crash depth. Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Obviously. What the hell is going on over there?
That's called Sminal, yeah. Come on. Do not eat me. Boobies. And lead. That looks like a way in. It is not. How the hell am I? That's 750 meters, not getting crushed. Okay. Leave me alone, I'm busy. What do we have here? Whole bunch of nothing. Aliens are weird. Can I scan it? Negatory? And how do we get in? I don't think that counts as in. And I'm almost at crush depth. Yeah, I know you told me not to go in, but how do I get in? Oh, 
what the hell are warpers doing here?